So do you, with that, sort of denounce people that are trying to make a better future for themselves as well as for their children and their children and so forth? I'm speaking of people that are active in trying to make a better environment, like Greenpeace, peace movements, people that are working with trying to make a better future in different ways. I understand. Just think for 5,000 years, this is what every generation has been doing. The generation that has preceded us was thinking about us and making a better future. My, our present was their future, what they have done. In five thousand years, continuously, every generation, every father, every mother, every teacher, every priest is creating a better future. And the total result seems to be just the opposite. Two things happened. They destroyed their present. They sacrificed. They thought they are martyrs. They thought they are doing great service to humanity. They were doing great disservice because the time that was given to them, a gift of existence, they wasted. And they have not been able to create a better future. Those five thousand years should become a lesson. My own understanding is, if you are living your present totally, out of this living will be born the next moment. You have taken care of the next moment by living this moment totally. Just think how logic can lead to foolish attitudes. The father is told that he has to sacrifice his life for the children. His father sacrificed his life for him. Neither he could live, nor he can live, nor his children are going to live because they will be sacrificing their lives to their children. So everybody is sacrificing to somebody else a strength and who is going to live? <laughs> okay. So my insistence, <laughs> my insistence is live it and out of your living experience the future will be born. If your living moment is of tremendous beauty and ecstasy, naturally you are creating future without any effort to create it. But if you are sacrificing to your children's future, deep down you will be resentful because your life is being destroyed by these children and these children will be resentful towards you because you were continuously bragging that you sacrificed your life mm. and you will want that children should feel obliged to you, you would like your children to sacrifice their youth to your old age because you sacrificed. This is so stupid. Yeah. I can agree on that. Yeah. And um, what you're talking about, from what I understand, is the more traditional family relations, both in mm -hmm. Christianity and probably also Everywhere. in other religions. Mm -hmm. But let me put it a little differently. More and more people in Europe as well as in the United States, I think, are getting very worried about the situation, the political situation, 
with atomic threats, nuclear war threat, uh, the environment uh, pollution, mm -hmm. things like that, which is not the same sacrifice from father to son and from father to son that we're, we're now talking about. I understand. It is just... superficially different. Basically, it is the same. The question of nuclear weapons should not be thought as a future problem. It is in the present moment. Yeah. No, so, I am not saying that you have to think about future. It is a living reality. We are living surrounded by nuclear weapons. So do whatsoever you want to do right now. But your pacifists are thinking about the future, that there should not be a third world war, that nuclear weapons should not be created. It's stupid. Again, you are destroying the present moment. And the people who are creating nuclear weapons, their logic is not different from yours. They are also preparing for the future. For the future of their people, for the future of their nation. They don't want to be weak. They want to be stronger. They want to remain in a position so that nobody can invade them. The warmongers are thinking of future and the pacifists are thinking of the future. I am neither a pacifist nor a supporter of war. I am saying let these idiots fight with each other Okay. And humanity should live this moment as joyously as possible. If we can manage to live in this moment peacefully, joyously, the Third World War is not going to happen. We have not done anything about Third World War. If people are happy, if people are enjoying, nobody can drag them into a war. War is not a simple phenomenon, it is very complex. People have to be miserable. People have to be in suffering. People have to be sexually repressed. People have to be in every possible way, humiliated by poverty, by hunger. Only then you can manage and convince them to destroy each other, because they have nothing to live for. Karl Marx has a beautiful statement in his Communist Manifesto. I don't agree with his communism, but the sentence with which Communist Manifesto ends is tremendously significant. He says, proletariat of the world unite. Because you have nothing to lose and everything to gain, fight. When you don't have anything to lose, fighting becomes easier. In fact, there is a possibility you may win, you may have the whole world. But if people are having a beautiful life, a loving life, you cannot convince them that they have to destroy other countries, other people. You cannot do that. It is impossible. Secondly, 
if people are not sexually repressed, which is the base of all wars, every soldier has to be sexually repressed. It is sexual repression which becomes violence. The soldiers and the monks in the monasteries are not in different boats. And both have been calamities to humanity. The monks have been going on crusades, killing in the name of religion. And the soldiers in the name of nation, in the name of culture, but the basic thing is that if they both are allowed to live their sexual life in a relaxed way, the monk will forget all about the Catholic Church and the Polak Pope, and he will say, let them go to hell, I am not going for crusade. He has a girlfriend and every moment is so beautiful. You cannot send my people to fight for anything. They will say no, because they are enjoying every moment so much. Why they should disturb their life and other people's life? 